Japan, a country known for preserving tradition while advancing technology, has shocked the world with its rapid development of one of the largest sixth-generation stealth fighter jets, the Mitsubishi, or Godzilla FX. How will this jet reshape aerial combat? Could this breakthrough spark an arms race in Asia and beyond? Join us as we explore Japan's aerial beast and its impact on modern warfare. World War II left Japan in ruins. With the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in August 1945, playing a key role in its surrender. The devastation was immense. Millions displaced. The economy shattered. Under the U.S.-Japan Peace Treaty, American forces occupied Japan, and Article 9 of the new constitution prohibited the country from maintaining a military for offensive purposes. Given this long-standing pacifism, reports of Japan developing a cutting-edge fighter jet took many by surprise. Some speculate that rising security threats in Asia pushed Japan to bolster its defenses. The Mitsubishi FX, developed by the Japan Air Self-Defense Force, is Japan's first domestically built stealth fighter, set to replace the aging Mitsubishi F-2 by the mid-2030s. But how did Japan suddenly embark on the FX project? Japan initially sought to acquire Lockheed's F-22 fighter, but the 1997 Obey Amendment blocked U.S. exports of the jet. With no alternative, Japan opted to develop its own advanced aircraft. The FX program officially launched in March 2017 when Japan and the United Kingdom signed a co-development agreement. Few expected Japan's defense collaboration to extend as far west as the UK. But, desperate times call for bold decisions. By 2018, Japan's Ministry of Defense faced a crucial choice. Where and how to produce its next-generation fighter jet. Seeking expertise, they turned to the U.S., receiving proposals from top aerospace firms like Boeing, Lockheed Martin, British Aerospace Systems, and Northrop Grumman, each offering cutting-edge designs. Japan was eager to replace its aging fleet but insisted on domestic production. Boeing suggested an upgraded F-15, while British Aerospace Systems proposed an enhanced Eurofighter Typhoon, both rejected for lacking originality. Lockheed Martin's hybrid of the F-22 and F-35 seemed promising, but came with a steep $177 million price tag. More concerning, the U.S. had banned F-22 exports to protect its technology, raising fears of similar restrictions. Unwilling to take that risk, Japan declined the offer. By 2018, Japan had ruled out basing its new aircraft on existing models. After careful evaluation, they decided to lead the project themselves, with foreign partners playing only a supporting role. The Ministry of Defense outlined clear priorities. Air superiority, future-proof technology, affordability, and strong involvement from Japanese industries. On August 21, 2019, Japan confirmed its fighter jet program would launch in 2020, aligning with that year's budget. In 2020, they rejected further proposals from Lockheed Martin, Boeing and British Aerospace Systems, staying firm on local production. Instead, the Ministry of Defense appointed Mitsubishi Heavy Industries to lead development. According to the Acquisition, Technology and Logistics Agency, ATLA, Japan remained open to Japan insisted on developing the FX domestically but remained open to international collaboration, without relying on foreign designs. In 2020, ATLA reaffirmed that Japan had the technology to build the FX in-house. By April, a dedicated team led by a Japan Air Self-Defense Force Major General with 30 specialists was formed. Despite its desire for independence, Japan sought input from the UK and Italy. An ironic turn, given their role in Japan's downfall during World War II. On December 9th, Japan officially partnered with the UK and Italy to co-develop a sixth-generation fighter jet. During the FX's design phase, a common challenge emerged, balancing stealth and size. The Japanese Ministry of Defense prioritized air superiority, demanding a larger aircraft with advanced features. Aviation Week's Bradley Purrett dubbed it Godzilla, due to its imposing size, larger than even the US F-22. While stealth jets are typically compact to evade radar, Japan argued that a bigger frame meant extended range and higher payload capacity. Defense Minister Takarano emphasized that the FX would carry more missiles than the F-35. To refine the design, 
Japan used a 3D mock-up system and a battle simulator, allowing pilots to test air combat scenarios and identify improvements. Unlike the F-2's hydraulic systems, the FX uses electric actuators, simplifying its stealth design. Hydraulic piping could compromise radar invisibility, so Japan opted for electric wiring instead. To further reduce weight, engineers replaced traditional fasteners with adhesive molding, an innovative, fastener-less structure technology. Even with these weight-saving measures, Japan sought further improvements. They eventually turned to heat shield technology to enhance engine performance while maintaining a lightweight frame. This approach ensured the FX met cutting-edge efficiency and stealth standards, pushing Japan's fighter jet program into the future. The FX uses aluminum alloys and carbon fiber-reinforced polymers instead of traditional materials, cutting weight while maintaining durability and agility, a pilot's dream. Unlike the F-2, which relied on fasteners for wing molding, the FX uses adhesive molding across the entire fuselage. This innovation reduces structural mass by at least 11% while preserving strength. Stealth aircraft must evade detection while spotting enemies first. The FX achieves this with integrated sensors, including an AESA radar, passive radio frequency sensors, and infrared cameras. Using gallium nitride, the AESA radar boosts range and sensitivity, detecting stealth jets even behind enemy lines. The radio frequency sensor picks up enemy radar or communication signals, revealing their location. For defense, the FX employs advanced electronic countermeasures, ECM, and electronic support measures, ESM. The ECM system jams enemy radar and mimics friendly signals, allowing the FX to evade detection in combat. Meanwhile, ESM gathers intelligence on enemy aircraft, analyzing signals to give pilots a tactical edge. With stealth as its top priority, the FX is built for next-generation air superiority. To minimize radar detection, Japan's Ministry of Defense implemented several stealth strategies. Unlike the F-2's external weapons bay, the FX features an internal bay and serpentine air ducts coated with electromagnetic wave absorbers, reducing radar reflection. Taking stealth further, the FX incorporates plasma stealth antennas, which generate a temporary plasma field to alter radar signatures, acting like high-tech camouflage. Despite its lightweight design, the FX is built for heavy firepower. It will carry the ASM-3 anti-ship missile and a directed energy weapon, DW, utilizing lasers, microwaves, and particle beams to neutralize threats. However, as warfare shifts towards unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, Japan is integrating drones into its strategy. The FX will work alongside an unmanned combat aerial vehicle, UCAV, as a shadow guide, similar to the XQ-58A Valkyrie. These drones will scout targets, fire munitions, and intercept enemy missiles, enhancing battlefield efficiency while reducing human risk. Beyond military power, the FX symbolizes Japan's resurgence in the defense industry. Post-World War II restrictions forced Japan to rely on U.S. licensed fighter jets, including the F-2, which faced American-imposed co-production limits. Learning from the past, Japan ensured the FX remains domestically led, with Mitsubishi at the helm, reclaiming its role as a technological powerhouse. Developing the FX locally brings pride to Japan's defense sector, but doubts remain about its ability to produce a fighter jet independently. Experts like Air Marshal BK Pandy warn of the challenges ahead, as modern fighter jets are highly complex, and Japan has limited experience building them from scratch. While the Godzilla FX is set to replace the F-2 in the 2030s, as of January 2025, it has yet to be tested, though a prototype is complete. Will Japan's first domestically made 6-gen fighter redefine aerial combat or face setbacks like the F-2? Time will tell. Thanks for watching. Click the link on your screen for more videos. See you there.